What is going on everyone? My name is Vision X and welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today we're going to be checking out this Xbox One Alight Controller Series 2. Now I actually got this for my birthday a few days ago so shout out to my friend for getting me this guys. But today we're going to be checking it out. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box guys. As you guys can see, nothing too special on the front. On the side it does tell you what you will get inside the box right there. You got the controller. You also got a couple uh, interchangeable D-pads. You also get a interchangeable thumbsticks as well. Some extra buttons right there that you can use to customize for whatever you guys want we'll talk about that in a second you also get this nice little carrying case a charging dock which is pretty cool and you get this nice tool to change uh the thumbstick intensity so that's pretty cool as well and the cool thing about this is that it does use usb type c to charge so that's pretty cool as well so that is it for inside the box guys now let's go ahead and open it and take a look inside so let's go ahead and lift off the top and once you guys open this, you guys will be greeted with this nice little carrying case like we talked about earlier. So this is pretty cool. Has the nice little Xbox logo stamped right there. So this is where you'll find all your accessories. So let's just put that aside real quick and see what we have under here. So just go ahead and put that aside. And as you guys can see in here is where you will find your air charger actually. So this is USB type C, like I said, guys. Now this is a pretty nicely braided cable. This feels just premium. So type C guys, please go type C everybody right now. Like I, type C is just the way to go. So that is your charger right there. Let's put that aside as well. And in here, I'm sure you just get a couple manuals and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and open this up. As you guys can see, you get a nice little pamphlet. Like I said, nobody ever reads these anyways. And what is this? Hmm, is this like some kind of, let's check this out. Oh, you actually get the Game Pass Ultimate in here as well. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. You guys probably won't see that. So I probably will use it. If not, I will leave the code in the description below so you guys can take it if you want. But you also get that as well in there. So that's pretty cool that Xbox includes all this stuff inside of it for you. So let's put those aside. Put this aside as well and put this up here. So this is the case, guys. And inside of this is where you will find everything. So all you got to do is just unzip it pretty easy and simple and once you open it guys you actually is greeted with the controller right there and just take a look at it guys this is absolutely beautiful let's go ahead and take a closer look at it as you guys can see it has this nice matte uh matte finish and right here if you guys can take a good look at that these are actually some nice rigids right here for a better grip when you guys hold in the controller so this actually feels amazing guys it feels really good so right there you got your type c port right there you got your triggers right there which is kind of a brushed aluminum like you know a dark brushed aluminum uh that's the kind of finish they went with in the back as you guys can see this is no no longer uh you can just put double a batteries in this or triple a i believe you just actually charge it using the dot they give you and these are your actual extra buttons right here so that's pretty cool as well and they do have a software for this guys that you can use to customize all these buttons to do whatever you want them to do so you still got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack still got this uh xbox port right there and this right here guys this new button this actually is to change the profile so you guys can set up up to three profiles on this controller so if you guys uh have like different people using it you can just set your profile number one and the light will actually come on you guys will see in a second so let's put this aside and take a look at the other accessories so we'll put that up there real quick and right here guys you actually have the charger so this is actually a charging dock so just get that off this is actually a charging dock guys so all you got to do is just sit the controller on here and it will charge obviously it requires power right there so just plug it in so that's pretty cool that they did include a charging dock so all you guys got to do is just sit it down sit the controller on there and the cool thing about it is it's magnetic uh, a lot of things about this controller is magnetic so everything just kind of snaps into place perfectly so that's pretty cool as well so all you got to do is just lift it up put it down and it's charged so that's pretty cool that you also get a, da a dock with this i really love that they included that and another cool thing you can do you can actually charge the controller while it's in the case so you don't really have to take it out you could just sit it in here and just close it up and there's actually a button back here, like a nice little hole where you plug your, your charger into and it'll actually charge while inside the pouch. So that's pretty cool as well. You don't really have to take it out unless you have a setup where you want to display it or something like that. So that is the controller. We'll take a better look, a closer look at that in a second, but let's take a look at these nice D pads that they give you guys. So this is pretty cool. These are some interchangeable D pads that you guys can switch out. Obviously, let me show you guys how easy it is to change this out. So you have your controller, you have your extra D pad. All you 
you guys want to do is just pull this up literally don't have to put any pressure at all and just put this one and it will just snap into play like i said guys it's magnetic so that's pretty cool as well you can also take this one off as well and they give you a four different uh four different uh changeable uh thumbsticks so that's pretty cool as well and you guys can obviously probably buy some custom one online i'm not sure but yeah as you guys can see this one is really long so if you guys like a long thumbsticks then just slap that on and you guys are good so this is really cool guys i really like the fact that they added all these in here and you still get a few more so you got this nice little rounded top one as you guys can see right there turn to the side this one is really short i would rather using that one over here but as you guys can see this one feels real good for you know probably call of duty and stuff like that so that is how easy and simple it actually is guys to change these out literally just pulling and it's gonna snap back into place so the magnetic feature on this controller is really awesome and let's not forget the d-pad guys that all you're doing is just pu uh, pulling it up and there it is and all you want to do to change that is grab your other one and this right here guys is actually your more traditional d-pad so you just want to slap it into play so whichever one you guys use so if you guys are playing fighting game this might be a little bit more useful i'm going to show you this really cool tool that they added now this is pretty cool because you can actually use this to change the intensity of how these move around so what you guys can do is just get this little tool and you want to just put it in these nice little holes right here and turn it now this has three different features like three different uh settings so you turn it and it gets a bit stiffer so if you guys ever remember using an xbox 360 controller it actually feels like the intensity of the xbox 360 controller and it has three different settings like i said and every time you change it it will actually change the intensity of how this is moving the thumbstick so that's pretty cool as well definitely uh I suggest you guys check that out as well so that is the controller if we look on the back guys like i said it doesn't have the triple a batteries anymore you could just use this to do that and that's pretty cool so you do have these that you can just like lift off this is pretty cool and these are actually buttons that you can actually use to uh customize and make them do whatever you want them to do when you're playing whatever game you guys are playing you can just pluck pull them off like that and this does come with a software that you guys can use to actually change uh what these buttons do so definitely check that out if you guys do have it as now another cool thing about the triggers on this guys is that if you actually touch them as you guys can see they're going all the way down now a cool thing that you can do to make that even better is actually just pull this down and what that will do it will stop the trigger from going all the way down so if you guys are playing shooting games and you want the shots to register a lot faster just put this all the way down and all you have to do is just give it a little tap like that and it will stop it and that will actually register your shot so that's pretty cool as well yeah, so that is about it for the controller guys everything like i said it's a pretty cool controller i would highly recommend it you guys go check it out it goes for about 179 bucks so that's gonna be it for this video guys make sure you guys drop a like if you guys did enjoy subscribe if you're new and i will catch you guys in my next video